This is the face Bali's anxious to show the world, an alluring blend of sun, sea and shopping that makes it one of Asia's prime holiday destinations. But behind Bali's now crowded shores, a secret battle is being waged vastly at odds with the island's friendly image, a shocking assault on one of nature's icons. At first glance, there's nothing exceptional about this scene, the sizzling satay, a Bali luncheon staple. Yet the choice here isn't the usual chicken or beef, but one of the world's most endangered species, green sea turtle. Is it tasty? Tasty? No. More than, more than chicken and beef? Yeah, I think... Why? <laughs> yeah, it's better. But I like, I, I don't know you. <laughs> These graceful reptiles predate the dinosaurs, but today they face the same fate, extinction. From several million a few decades ago, current estimates put the number of nesting females at just a few hundred thousand worldwide, and they're disappearing fast. It takes an adult 20 years to reach maturity, and its life can span two centuries but hunted for their meat and shells, their eggs eaten, their habitats destroyed, green sea turtles could vanish entirely in the next hundred years. And in Bali, they're slaughtered in their thousands. The reason, they'll tell you, is religious. To Bali's devout Hindus, the turtle represents Vishnu, god of stability, foundation of the world, seen for generations as a potent offering for ritual sacrifice. Some turtles are killed for ritual, yet, as we'll see, religion is also being used as a smokescreen to excuse what is, to many, the inexcusable, a local craving for turtle meat as everyday fare. What is most disturbing is the way turtles are slaughtered. And the warning. What you're about to witness is, to Western eyes, especially cruel and distressing. Each animal is still alive when its soft undershell is sliced away from its organs. Dismembered alive, there's a special poignancy about the death throes of the turtle, for with its last breath, glands release tears of salt. And how ironic that the shell that protects this creature from natural predators deals it such a cruel death at the hands of man. <laughs> They say stabbing the main artery at the heart is the kindest cut, the quickest death, but there are other reasons for doing so. Some argue that killing the turtle before dismembering it poisons the meat. Others admit it's just easier to hack out half-alive flesh and scoop up the freshest blood for their offerings. Untuk motong penyu niki biasanya untuk melihatnya kemantan. Selain kemantan, mana tan sekali berita di media masa niki di Bali banyak pembantaian penyu. Sebenarnya itu tidak benar. Sebab kami di Bali kalau tidak upacara adat atau uh, 
In a religious context, once the meat is stripped from the shell, it's diced and spiced into ceremonial satays, food for the gods. But it's a taste shared by man, and denoting wealth and prestige, turtle has become a dish of choice in Bali for almost any celebration. It's more of the delicacy. Uh, he local, like a local favourite? Local favour of uh, Balinese. If they have a feast, maybe like a wedding ceremony or something, they will provide their guests with a satay, a turtle menu, satay, soup, whatever. And it has been going on for more than a century in Bali. Mm. But it is, say the critics, a practice that should stop. And if the Balinese won't do it voluntarily, then they ought to pay a price. Western environmental groups are now threatening a global boycott Bali campaign to persuade foreign tourists to take their business elsewhere if the turtle slaughter doesn't cease. Maybe boycott, because at this time a lot of uh, non-NGOs, non-government organisations try to persuade also other NGOs and other countries to do boycott to Indonesia. I do have a lot of letters from, mm. from that NGO. So a travel boycott? Travel boycott. But the potential loss of the tourist dollar has no sway over those like Made Lapa who make their living from the turtle trade. Okay, negara mana mau boycott pariwisata Bali? Please, please. Silahkan. Tapi yang satu, keadilan. And justice for the traders is to do what they've always done, even if it means violent confrontation. And so, under the watchful gaze of its ancestral spirits, Bali has become the picturesque setting for a clash of values. Western-inspired concepts of environmental protection on one hand, a trade based on traditional hunting on the other. As an outsider, I'm wondering how a religion that preaches vegetarian non-violence can allow the turtle slaughter, and so turn to an expert for the answer. Brahmin high priest Gede Gura Kalaran says Bali's version of Hindu ritual does in fact allow for turtle sacrifice, but only for the rarest of rituals. Not more than 300 or maximum 500 a year is enough for the whole Bali for that. Turtles. Turtles. Mm, for yeah. sacrificing yes. in the yeah. ceremony. Now aware of the declining numbers, Gede's trying to convince his fellow Hindus to replace turtle with duck or even cake, but it's already too late. What started generations ago as a comparatively rare ceremonial delicacy has broadened to everyday eating. With Flipper's trust awaiting slaughter, this amateur footage captures the true scale of Bali's turtle trade, which, with each turtle worth up to $200, could now be a multi-million dollar business. We, we believe, and I do believe, in the last data that is uh, 9,000 in four months. 9,000 every four months? Yeah, in four months, but though it's fluctuating. Yeah. Then we will have more than 20,000 turtles every year coming to Bali. Disputing the environmentalists' figures, but admitting a large-scale hunt, the villages of Tanjung Banoa are Bali's main turtle traders. Proud guardians of their culture, they insist turtle sacrifice is an essential part of Bali's deep local traditions known as Adat. Among them, Ketut Sakata has become the town's unofficial spokesman. Penyu itu sebenarnya wujud daripada binatang yang dianggap suci oleh orang Hindu. Penyu itu mencerminkan bedawang nale. Jadi itu simbol antara batas bumi. Jadi antara uh, 
uh, arti beda antara bumi dan 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 yang lain darah gitu. Unashamed of the trade that supplies half this town's income, Sakata agrees to show me the more earthly side of Bali's unholy obsession. Tapi saat sekarang ini, nah, ini ada seekor penyu yang akan di dipotong ini. Satu satu ekor mau dipotong sudah ada yang mengambil. Unhidden from passing pleasure seekers, this is Bali's killing zone. Ini sampai terbentang jauh ke sana, jadi masih banyak. Jadi ini bisa kapasitas tampungnya sampai 300 until 400 total. In here. In here. Monsoon season means there aren't many turtles here now, and Sakata, a statistician by trade, insists there's still no study proving Bali's taste for turtle is driving it to extinction. Masyarakat Tanjung Benua menanggapi jadi tidak benar artinya. Jadi di sini adalah terkumpul mas padagang yang kejam. Karena kalau dilihat dari populasi penduduk, kita ini kan hanya sebagian, hanya minoritas saja. Jadi hanya Bali Selatan yang jumlah penduduknya sangat kecil, hanya Tanjung Benua. Jadi kalau dia menangkap penyu sampai 100 ekor, saya rasa itu tidak bisa dikategorikan artinya menyebabkan sampai berpengaruh terhadap populasi penyu semakin menurun. But that's a doubtful claim when you see this. There's yet to be a definitive study in Indonesian waters, but it is already known that in several parts of the archipelago, hunting and egg eating have cut turtle numbers by up to 90% in the past four decades. Some turtles are undoubtedly used for ritual. That's a business in itself. But many are also processed in Bali's backroom factories for everyday food. And some, like Sukata, ascribe turtle the powers of a natural Viagra. Maybe your banana is very strong. <laughs> I'm so I'm funny. But it's hard to raise a laugh amid the grisly evidence of turtle slaughter. But somebody, some people look at the, look at that, yeah, and they, and they, they look at, they see the cut, cut piece by piece. Looks very cruel. Oh, yeah. Looks very cruel. Maybe we we need to be quickly to cut. Already horrified by the cruelty, activists like Windia Adniana accuse Bali's turtle traders of using religion as an excuse for simply making money. Is this really because of ritual? Or, or something to do with the business. And then now it's clear, this is a business, entirely business. And you don't have to go far to discover what he means. Turtle is good business in Bali for one good reason. It's good taste. And for generations now, Balinese have been tucking into turtle whenever they can. Is it popular? Is it popular in among Balinese? Uh, many people like... Many, many people, yeah. 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 It may not look like much, but this satay seller alone sells 10 kilograms of turtle meat a day, and there are scores like her. Turtle is now pervasive culinary fare, and just about every Balinese, even those fighting the trade, have eaten it. I haven't tasted that for years, I have forgotten the taste, but I think it's tasty, and habit is it's not easy to to overcome, I mean, like you know, like like smoking or something like that. It's just the same. Just the same. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's the campaign you're fighting. Yes, it's a campaign of changing behavior, mm -hmm. and that's not easy. The World Wildlife Fund has had some success. Last June, it convinced Bali's governor to scrap a quota which allowed the island. 5,000 turtles a year for ritual sacrifice. 
It was a quota Green Group say was never enforced and used to cover the true scale of the trade, between 20 and 30,000 turtles every year. Now the trade is officially illegal and this man, Widya Zakaria, Bali's biggest turtle trader, is the first to be charged and brought to court under the new laws. And I believe, I believe the people in Tanjung Benara are quite angry at the moment, are they? Well, how, how are they reacting to the coverage? Oh, tidak benar, Pak. Jangan itu membesar-besar yang begitu itu tidak benar, Pak ya. Kami harap apapun itu. Widja's arrest is a landmark victory for the Green campaign, but in Indonesia's notoriously corrupt courts, punishment is uncertain. And today, his case is again mysteriously adjourned. Widja, or Weiwei as he's known, insists the trade is solely for traditional purposes. Are you from Australia? That's right. Okay. I know the Australian, yeah? Yep. You know uh, Aborigin, yep. yeah? It, penyu. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Okay. Yeah. Yeah? But it's traditional. Uh, That's traditional. <laughs> Not Bali, yeah? Oh, yeah. Not in Bali. It. Okay, but yeah? the question is. The Bali for. Yeah? Only. Yeah. yeah? But for. But a very big number. Kami di sini kaitan dengan nyangra adat. Ngerti nak? Upacara dan adat kami yang ada di Kabupaten Badung. Sebelum kami potong, kami upacarakan, kami aturkan sanang sari. Defending their cultural right to take turtle. The men of Tanjung Banoa are resisting the new law. They've held rallies at the WW office where they threaten to burn the building and even rape staff, then attack the police station. They angrily deny using tradition, the sacred adat, as cover. <laughs> Mereka itu katanya menuduh bapak itu berselubung di balik adat. Itu yang yang saya Oh, tidak benar, tidak benar. Ya. Sama aja Pak ya. Sekarang ya. Pak misalnya seorang pedagang, ya. ya. Kalau tidak ada yang beli, ngerti enggak ngapain kita cari barang itu? Ya. Nah, itu aja kan. Ya, dan memang diberitakan bahwa Bapak Oh, tidak benar, jutaan, bukan jutaan saya. Rupiah, Kalau Bapak orang bilang sini. jutaan rupiah apa jutaan dolar? Untuk orang juta ya, untung mah. Kalau memang betul, misalnya mau nguntung sampai jutaan dolar, kan kaya orang masyarakat Bali ini, masyarakat Tulama, Tanjung, Pak. And Weiwei is not just fighting in court. He's cleverly rallied 22 traditional councils to support continued turtle hunting as an integral part of Balinese tradition ritual thing in this island is very important and very sensitive issues. So they understand that and they, now they rise that for the issues, I mean ritual thing. So it's very difficult. It really could become a, a fight of traditional, traditional Balinese yeah. uh, power yeah. against conservation yes. Yes. and government. Yes. Yes. But the local turtle traders are asking the world to see things from their point of view. This one, Bali. Weiwei is clearly more relaxed back on his home turf. He wants me to meet the men whose livelihoods depend on hunting turtle and doesn't try to hide the fact that his fleet can haul in big loads. Nah, terus yang yang begini bot ini uh, perahu yang begini itu bisa muat 50. Yang ini waktu ini muat 90. <laughs> yeah. These men have come from across the archipelago to work on Weiwei's turtle boats. Unskilled and with few choices, they're at the bottom of the nation's tough labor pyramid and they'll do just about anything to make money. Um, biar 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 tidak nanti dikeran saya Anda dulu kan bekas pengebom, perompak, ya. Sekarang bagaimana dengan ini? Kita tidak melanggar hukum, kan? Nah, ini kita pun juga mencari penyu ini, kita bukannya mencuri. Jadi kita punya mohon izin. Kalau ada izin, kita kerja. Sedangkan keluar kita... Mulyadi is the skipper whose 93 turtles landed him and Weiwei in court under the new ban. They both now face hefty fines and possibly even jail. Their main complaint is that green groups are taking away their livelihoods without providing them and the town of Tanjung Banoa 
with any commercial alternative. Ya kalau terpaksa mau diapakan dah toh. Kalau terpaksa. Sebab itu mungkin ngebom lebih jelek daripada cari penyu. Can, can you understand why though people, particularly outside people want to stop the trade in turtles because their, their numbers look like they're going down and it looks very cruel. Saya juga tidak paham itu, tidak paham. Kok cuma penyu dipikirkan dulu. Ndak nasib nelayannya dulu dipikirkan. Bagaimana jalan keluarnya toh? An experienced skipper, Muliadi insists that in their far-flung feeding grounds, turtles are still plentiful. Tidak, saya rasa selama saya cari penyu itu, saya rasa untuk, untuk menghilangnya tidak. Makanya saya bilang tadi, toh kalau ada orang bilang penyu punah, kita dari nelayan bersedia membawa ke tempat penyu. But with hunting and mass tourism driving turtles from Bali's beaches, Mulyadi and his men are forced further and further to sea in their barely seaworthy boats to catch their quarry. On the other side of town, blood sacrifice opens another Hindu ceremony. <laughs> Wearing his other hat as a university lecturer, Sukata joins his colleagues to bless the new campus shrine. It's a solemn occasion and a reminder of Bali's deeply rooted identity, but it's also an occasion to witness Bali's bad habit. These are all members of the university's animal husbandry faculty, yet they see nothing wrong with tucking into turtle meat, and neither does the dean. Itu untuk kalau untuk korban suci sudah disupat. Jadi hewan yang sudah disupat oleh ano, jadi orang suci di pedande naik tingkatnya. Jadi kalau untuk penyupatan tu boleh, untuk untuk upacara suci boleh. Sukada and his colleagues seem to relish their role in helping this turtle onto its higher plane. He says that if studies can prove the practice is driving turtles to extinction, Tanjung Banoa may be prepared to review the hunt, but not yet. Yes, I promise to stop. Maybe 100%. I promise to stop if, it, uh, if it's found. But not uh, quickly, maybe need a long a long time until my uh, officer men have the new job. Trying to lead the change by example, High Priest Gede is keeping at least one turtle from the knife. It's a ritual of hope, and for protection, he scratches on a sacred symbol. So to, to give the turtle being uh, protected in the outfit. This is the closest Bali's tourists get right now to the debate raging behind their banana lounges. But their views will soon count if foreign green groups proceed with their boycott threat. If you found out that they're endangered and the population is declining and that there is also a large number killed... But then the government should make a, a rule to prevent the killing of them. Do you think... It, do not you... only this government, all around. Protected by Gede's prayers, at least one turtle is spared the satay stick. But if Bali doesn't change its eating habits, its buoyant tourist industry may not be so lucky. <laughs>